guys. Um, I'm gonna use a ball today, uh, maybe some weights, um, kind of just depends. You can always use weights if you'd like to bump up the um, intensity on your own if you'd like. Um, otherwise, you don't have to do that. Kind of just listen to your body to make sure you're doing um, everything safe and soundly. Um, but on that note, I'm going to play some music in the background, more for my sake, to kind of keep me um, on line. And I'm going to start my watch. We're going to sit up nice and tall. Go. Sit nice and tall. We'll start with our stretching. Hands out to the side. Inhale through your nose. Lift those arms up to the sky. And exhale as you blow it out. Inhale, lift those arms. Lift up that diaphragm. And exhale as you lower your arms down. Again, inhale, lift them up. This time, you're going to lean over to your right side or left, whichever one you want to start with. It helps if you grab your opposite wrist and pull it over. So I'm grabbing my left wrist with my right hand. And back to center, switch wrists. So my left hand is grabbing my right wrist. It's going to lean over. I am in a group. And back to center. Release your hands, stretch them down as you reach for the ground. Push those shoulders down. Lengthen your neck. Point that chin to the ceiling. Good. Take your right hand, put it on top of your head. Tuck that head towards your armpit, your right armpit. Should feel a nice stretch down the back of your neck. Tilt your head to the side so your ear is by your right shoulder. Don't do too much tugging on your, your head, just slightly pull it down. Release that hand and let your head float up side to side. Good. Left hand on top of your head. Tuck that chin into your left armpit. So it's a good neck and shoulder stretch down the back of your neck. Release that hand, let your head float over to the left side, so your left ear by your left shoulder. Left arm is pulling that head down. Good, when you're ready, release that hand, let your head float up nice and slow. Rock it side to side. Little half circle. Good. All right, take that right hand, put it on your left knee. Your left hand will go on your chair. So sit up nice and tall. Give your back a nice twist as you look towards the left side. get some pops. And other side, left hand goes on my right knee, right hand on the chair. Good, back 
to center. Stretch out that right leg. Breathe in through your nose. Exhale as you slide down that right leg. Point those toes up to the sky. You can use your other leg for um, support as you're reaching down. Point your toes to the ground. Happy birthday, Daryl Jones, on my link. <laughs> Good, all right, come on back up. Grab a hold of that right leg your, around your knee or your thigh. Roll out that ankle as you kind of hug that knee to your, towards your chest. Rotate it both directions. If you're able to do so, cross that leg over your knee. If you can't get it up this high, that's okay. Put it down here on your shin. If you um, can't get it up that high, but I'm gonna have mine up here. Sit nice and tall, slowly pull that knee towards the opposite shoulder. So I'm pulling my right, my right leg knee towards my left shoulder. You'll kind of feel that in your sciatica. Good, and release. Other leg, so left leg stretches out in front. As you breathe in, exhale, slide down that leg. Point those toes to the ground. When ready, bring it on back up. Grab a hold of that left leg around the knee or thigh. Rotate your ankle as you hug that leg into your chest. And when ready, cross that leg over your right knee if you can. Pull that leg towards your chest to the opposite shoulder. that leg and you're going to tilt towards the left side so your right leg is going to hang down we're going to do our um, seated lunges so i'm going to take my left hand and hold on to the chair as my right leg is going to slide back onto the um, back toes so my right knee is bent down and i'm going to slightly recline back so i get that um that pull on my thigh uh, if you can't do this and if you're in a wheelchair, you can just sit straight in front of you and um, push that, that leg right behind you, like under your chair. I'm gonna do it this way though. Also, if you're like in a chair that has arms on it and you can't sit to the side like this, um, you can slide it under you as well. There's always a way we can get to the, that position. Just gotta be creative. When 
ready, you can switch over to the other side. So I'm gonna turn towards my right as my left leg is going to slide back. My toes, um, I'm on the ball of my toes for my back foot, that is. Leaning on back. back to center. Let's stretch out both feet, lean down towards those toes, round out your back. I'm using my legs, my thighs to kind of pull me closer towards them. Dropping my head. Bring it all the way back up. Inhale and exhale. Good. All right, let's start here. Um, you're gonna sit nice and tall. You're gonna take that belly and we're gonna pull it straight back to your spine. So you're gonna sit nice and tall. You're gonna inhale as you pull that belly button in. Don't hold your breath though. So we're inhaling, hold it there. You can exhale, but if you just, when you, if you exhale, make sure you hold your belly in tight, tight, tight. And release. Good. Draw that belly button in again. So we're pulling it straight back to our spine. Do a, we'll do a 15 count, but it's going to be all through fives. So I'm going to count to five, and with each number, we're going to pull that belly in through stages. We're going to hold it there, and then uh, we're going to release it in stages of five. So here we go. So counting one, we're going to pull that belly in two, three, four, five. So it's always sucked in. Hold it there. One, two, three, four five and slowly release one two three four five so that kind of probably felt funky so let's try it again so we're going to pull it in for five hold five let release five so it should be like each stage here we go so draw in one two three four five hold it there one two three four five and slowly release one two three four five good so that's good um practice just for that tummy control and um being able to pull that belly in through different stages all right so let's sit up nice and tall um we're gonna start with what um i typically do is our our hollow holds so this one my knees are still bent um in 90 degrees my arms are gonna be straight up in the air. If the, this hurts your shoulders too much, you can go to Frankenstein arms or um, crisscross like genie arms, all right? Um, I'm gonna hold mine up here. We're gonna do this for a minute. So starting now. Some of you might have already started and that's okay too. Hold her tight. Make sure that belly is nice and tight in your um, core. Your back is nice and tall. Remember, these are good things to do just on your own time. Especially when we're not here next week. You'll be able to um, remember to do at least one or two of these that you can practice on your own. Almost there, about 15 more seconds. 
Keep it up, keep it up. Hold that tummy tight. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And release. Shake out those arms if you need to. Um, that would be a good one to also use weights if you wanted to hold those weights straight up. All right, cool. So next one, we're gonna just hold our arms out in front of you and we're gonna stick out our feet. I'll show you from the side view. So I'm gonna stick out my feet like so, hold my arms here or here or shoulder height. I mean, um, genie height. I think I'm gonna hold mine up high. My legs are out straight, tighten that core. My heels are on the ground. Here we go. One, oh, I'm not gonna count actually. <laughs> We're gonna do it for a minute though. Keep that core tight. Nice, strong legs, strong arms. Tall back. About halfway there, keep it up. obliques, okay? So side, up, side, up. Good. They're like side dips. Two, two. Really um, ground your feet. Three. So pushing those feet to the ground. Four, four. Use that core to pull yourself back straight up and down, side, I think that's, this is five, I believe, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, for a second. We're going to do that same thing, but next time we're going to lift up um, either leg. So if I'm leaning over to the left side, I'm going to raise my right leg back to center. Raise, lean over to the right, raise my left. So it's going to be opposites, okay? All right, when you're ready, we're going to get started. So I'm leaning over to the left, raising my right knee and sitting straight back up. Dip to the right, Raise my left knee, okay? Easy enough. Two, dip, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. I try to add in some new content this week. Six, four more, seven, seven, well I guess four, three more, <laughs> eight, eight, nine, and nine, one more, ten, ten, good job, shake out those arms if you need to, 
Um, let's go down to our feet for a minute so we don't have to raise our shoulders up, our arms up. Um, we'll do our knee tucks. So I'm gonna zip my legs together as best as I can. We're gonna raise those knees up. You're gonna tap over to the left, raise them up, tap to the right, okay? I will put something down there so it kind of see I'm going over something. So here I go. We'll do 20 of them. So up, tap, up, tap, okay? Here we go. Two, two, three, three, four, and go at your own pace if you need to. Five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten, eleven, eleven, I forgot what I said I would do, twelve, I think twenty, twelve, thirteen, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen, sixteen, 16, 17, 17, Ooh, almost there, 18, 18, 19, 19, 20, 20, good job, good. All right, next one. Um, this one might be a little bit more challenging for some, um, but if you don't wanna do them in together, that's okay. But I'm going to, what we're going to do is uh, stretch out both arms and both legs, raise up and bring them back in, okay? So stretch out, bring them back, okay? If you can't do that, if you just want to do your legs and hold on to the chair, um, you can try that to start with and then work your way up if you'd like. So here we go. We're going to do 10 of them, okay? So I'm calling on my starburst. And here we go. One and in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, good, and ten. Stretch it out, hold, hold, hold. And back in. <laughs> good job. Awesome. Okay, we're making good on time. With all these new ones I'm adding. Um, all right. Um, we're gonna do that forward lean. So I'm gonna show you from the side view. You're gonna raise your hands up to shoulder height. You're gonna lean forward and sit straight up, okay? If you want, you can put your hands up here on your um by your side and kind of do it that way if you want more of like a crunch style or you can just reach out in front and sit straight up, okay? So I'm gonna do 20 of them, all right? Let's go. One, so I'm like reaching for that wall, sitting straight up, using those abs, not letting that belly hang. I forgot to start counting. I think this is four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20. Excellent. Good. Those are um, good um, types of crunches to do on your own time if you'd like as well. All right. Um, let's see. Their time here. Um, let's raise. Um, I'll do that at the end. 
Um, we're gonna start with our other core exercises. So we're gonna sit nice and tall. Both feet are gonna be grounded and we're gonna do sets of five. So always count up to five of each one um, and then we'll go on to the next one. So this first one, you're just gonna raise that right leg up and lower it down. Remember, I'm not raising it up to my knee. Um, it's just hovering over the ground as I lower it. And up for two, up for three, four, keep that tummy tight, and five. Good, left leg now lifts, left leg up. Up for two, three, four, and five. All right, back to the right leg. Right leg lifts up. I'm going to kick my heel out. Bring that leg back, set it down. Again, I'll show you from the side. Right leg lifts up, kick it out in front. Bring it back, set it down. Three, out, back, down. Four, out, back, down. And five, out back, down. Good, left leg, same thing. Left leg lifts, kick it out. Bring it back, set it down. Up, out, back, down. Two, I think, out, maybe it's three. Down, we'll do six. Four, I'm the worst counter. Five, and last one, if you did five or six, it's all right. We're all gonna live. <laughs> Good job. Okay, now we're gonna add in our arms. So my right leg is going to lift and I'm gonna punch that right arm up to the sky. So right arm, right leg lifts and down. If it hurts your shoulder to go up like this, you can always go to shoulder height, okay? I'm gonna lift it up for three, up for four, up for five. Good, left side, left leg, left arm. Punch that arm up. Two, kind of like your Mario. Mario. Three, four, and five. Good, now we're gonna do opposite. So my right arm is going up. My left leg is gonna go up. So right arm, left leg. Good, and down. Up for two, three, four, and five. Other side, right leg lifts, left arm up. Two, three, four, five. Good. All right, so now we're gonna, um, let's see. We're gonna add in a ball. Add in a ball. Um, or if you want, you can use a weight if you wanna do it that way. Um, it's up to you what you feel comfortable doing. Sometimes you don't wanna to jump to the weight too soon because you, if you can't um, control your movements too well, you don't wanna add in the weight yet. But if you are able to balance and not like wiggle around and are able to control your legs, um, then you can add the weight in, all right? So I'm gonna have my ball just like this. I'm gonna sit up nice and tall. Both feet are flat on the ground. I'm gonna go from the right shoulder up and around towards the left. If this hurts your shoulders, what you're gonna do is you're gonna stir me a pot of porridge, just like that, out and around, okay? I'm going up though, and this is my second one. And third, up and around for four and five. Be mindful of when you're doing these, you're not wiggling your bottom around, so we're not going like this and trying to speed through it, okay? You wanna be nice and controlled. Okay, left side, left shoulder, over to the right shoulder. One, two, three, four, and five. Good. Push that ball up to the sky for one. Chest, out, chest. Up for two, chest, out, chest. 
three, three, four, four, and five, five. Good, hug that ball into your belly. Sit up nice and tall. You're gonna twist your shoulders to the left. Center, twist to the right. Center, left, center, right, center. Kind of like you're singing opera. You have opera hands. Uh-oh, hopefully we're getting close. I think this is four. Uh, maybe this is five. <laughs> Good, excellent. All right, if you have another item, oops, um, or if you just wanna use that ball that's in your hand and put it under your foot, you can do so. I'm gonna use this little half circle that I found around the clinic. You can use whatever you want though. You can use a ball, you can use a block, a rock, fruit, who cares? Your dog's bone, whatever. So I'm putting it under my right foot. What you wanna be mindful of is not crushing this item. Don't totally put all your pressure on it. It's just gonna be lightly resting on that item. An excellent choice to use is like a foam cup or a red solo cup, because you can hear the cracking of it if you do put too much pressure on it. All right, sit up nice and tall. My left foot is now flat on the ground. Hold that ball. You're gonna circle up and around again for one. Up and around again for two. And three. And four, so it's right to left shoulder. And five. If you're going the other way, that's all right. All right, push it up to the sky for one. Chest, out, chest. Up for two. Out for two. Three. Three. Four, four, and five, five. Excellent. Hug that ball into your tummy. Or, uh, yeah, into your tummy. Sit nice and tall. Make sure you're checking on that foot. And twist towards the left, center, right, center. Nice tall back. And twist. And three. And three. And four. Four. And five. And five. Excellent. All right, we're gonna do that same thing, but all, um, you're gonna put the ball under your left foot now. So ball is under my left or the item that you're using. Left foot, right foot is on the ground. Hold on to that ball. I think I'll step it up. I'll use a, I'll use a weight this time. All right, we're gonna go from, I think the left shoulder, wait, no, my right shoulder over around to my left shoulder, okay? So whichever way you didn't go last time. Up and around for two. Up and around for three. And four. Keep that core tight. Five. Excellent. All right, push it up to the sky for one. Out for one. Up for two. Out for two. Up for three. Three. Up for four. Four. And five. Five. Excellent. Hug that item into your core, into your belly. Sit nice and tall. Have nice, strong opera hands. You're gonna to twist towards the left. Center, twist to the right. Good. Two, and two. And three, and three. And four, and four. Five and five. Excellent. All right, put that item under your right foot now. So the whole idea of the, these specific moves is to increasingly 
um, be less um, have it be less balanced and less stable. So um, my right foot is going to be on this cone thing, and when I'm ready, I'm going to lift up that left leg. So see how I'm off center, and not balanced. Um, that's so that my body and my brain starts to compensate and learn to um, make uh, adjustments so that I am able to be more balanced and stable. So my right foot is on the cone thing, left foot is up, hold on to that item in your hand, and we're gonna do circles from the left shoulder over to the right, okay? This is when you're going to want to be aware of keeping your body nice and stable, not rushing through, keeping that bottom solid in the chair, counting with me, I think this is four, <laughs> and last one for five, good. And rest that leg if you need to. Check the item under your foot. Make sure it's not totally crushed because you don't want to be putting all your pressure now onto that right foot. We're balancing nice and even. When you're ready, lift up that left leg. Right foot is still on the cone. Push it up to the sky, chest, and push it out in front of you, chest. Two, two, three, three, Four, four, five, five. Good. Rest that leg if you have to. Hug that item into your belly. Sit nice and tall. Raise the left leg and twist a row for one. Twist for one. Two. Twist for two. Three. Three. Four, four, and five, five. Excellent. All right, switch feet. So my left foot is on that cone thing. Right leg is gonna lift. Take that item. Oh, I forgot which side we want. I'm gonna go from my right shoulder over to the left. I can't really remember totally though. So go the opposite. And up around for two. Three, four, keep that core tight. Uh, I don't know, did I just do four? <laughs> Here's five maybe. Good job. All right, hug it. Uh, not hugging in yet. I'm getting ahead of myself, I'm sorry. Right foot is lifted again. Push that item up to the sky. Chest, out, chest. Up for two. Out for two, three, three, four, four, and five, five. Good, last one, let's hug it into the belly. Put the awkward hand that's um, typically on the bottom, put that one on top. And raise your right leg and twist for one, twist for one. Two, two, three, three, four, four, and five, five. Good, all right, set that stuff to the side. Sit nice and tall. Let's inhale those arms up as you breathe in and exhale it out. Good, inhale, raise them up to the sky and slowly exhale them down. Take that right hand, put it on your left knee. Left hand will go on your chair as you give your back a nice twist. Looking over that back shoulder. And the other direction, so my left hand on my right knee, right hand on the chair. If you didn't hear me in the beginning, um, please make sure you stay on the line and chat with your therapist. Um, stick out both feet in front of you while we're still stretching. Um, next week we will not be having class 
Um, so make sure you practice on your own time. Right now I'm just reaching for my toes, flexing those toes up in the air. Um, also, I hope you all have a wonderful Veterans Day. That's tomorrow, if you are not aware. Veterans Day, I know there's a ton of awesome discounts out there. Sit on back up. Let's take that belly button and pull it back to your spine. As you pull it in, hold it there. Then slowly release. Good, let's draw it in one more time. Pull that belly in. And release. Good, thank you all for joining. Please stay on the line. Thank you all for your service. I hope you have a wonderful Veterans Day. Bye-bye.